You guys could probably already tell from the title, but I'm going to say it anyway. I haven't driven this car in two weeks. I literally have not touched my Tesla in about two weeks. Uh, I haven't even gone inside yet, so this is going to be interesting. But uh, yeah, pretty much the reason I haven't touched it was because uh, other things came up and kind of prohibited me from driving. Um, no, nothing bad. I'm not in trouble with the law or anything. Don't worry. I'm still a good boy. I ain't done nothing. Um, but there are a few things that I'm going to point out here that I've noticed immediately coming uh, from other cars, at least from my old Tesla. I had a uh, black one of these, except it was a non-performance. And there was one time I didn't drive it for three days and I left it in the garage and the parking brake, like it, it, it almost sounded like it literally fused to the rotor or something crazy like that. I know it probably didn't. It, it was crazy. So pretty much, you know, this car has one of those electronic parking brakes. You press the P button and then yeah, the car goes into park, automatically applies the parking brake. So yeah, but I haven't driven this car in two weeks and it made such a loud noise after just three days, three days. And this is a pretty cold garage. It is actually, yeah, 36 degrees outside right now, but in the garage here, it's probably around 40, uh, maybe 45. I don't know. Still pretty brisk. But um, so this car has been sitting and we're going to go ahead and see what kind of battery drain we got what the car sounds like whenever you power it on, if it makes any weird buzzing or anything, and then kind of go for a very short drive and see what it did. So uh, yeah, by all means, we should, you know, let's, uh, let's, let's just hop in here first just to see. Oh, okay. So, tiny bit of a delay to get in, but that's fine. Everything's fine. But yeah, the car's open now. You know, it's doing this kind of normal routine thing that any other day. So, yeah, I mean, if you hop in here, you know, nothing really on the screen that's noteworthy or, you know, nothing on the interior either. It's, it still smells brand new. Oh my gosh, it's insanely, it smells really good. Another thing we should probably talk about real quick is battery drain. So, the entirety of the two weeks, the battery only drained 2% which was really weird. I mean, considering I didn't open it, I didn't do anything, sentry mode wasn't on, but it only drained 2%. That's impressive. For this one, we're gonna have to hop out of the garage and then pull it out. Okay, I'm going to try to pull the car out now and let's go ahead and see what happens. So, power is on now. Uh, it says regenerative braking is temporary unavailable. Let's go ahead and try this. First I'm gonna put her in reverse, then I'm gonna start backing out, and then maybe listen for the noise. I'm literally pressing the pedal, it's not doing anything. One thing I've sort of noticed just from pulling out there, the brakes have like, I don't know, they haven't been left outside, you know, so they're, it's not like they're rusted or anything, but you know, you're, I'm getting that kind of like that shrieking sound. I'm going to actually pull it up against the house and maybe roll the windows down and see if we can get that sound to be recreated. But first, I mean, as far as everything on the screen, I mean, everything's the same. It's still connected to Wi-Fi. That's good. It didn't go into like a deep sleep mode, which I thought it was going to, but surprisingly it didn't um, because... On the Model X, uh, that was actually an interesting story. Uh, there was one time where uh, we didn't drive that thing for a solid, like, five days. And because it was uh, left out because of vacation. So what happened was we get back. We, we pressed the door, uh, the door handle button. It, it wouldn't open. And we were just like, um, okay, this is kind of a problem. So... You know, it was in like deep sleep mode, but you can you can hear the car doing its kind of like its power on sort of thing. So it was sort of doing the bzz, 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 bzz kind of thing. Well, well, you know, just kind of doing its thing. And then eventually it started to power on and then I saw the screen light up in the middle, but the car still was not unlocked. So then I had to wait for the car. We waited a solid two minutes before anything and it wouldn't even connect to the Tesla app. So that's one thing to note. If you let your Tesla stand by for too long, sometimes in some cases, you may have a bit of a delay getting in. Thankfully for 
these, you do have like a key replacement, uh, not like replacement, like I'd say backup, the little credit card thing that you get with the car, just in case anything like that were to happen. But however, there was one time in my old Model 3 where I put the key card up against the door and it really didn't do anything. And then it said tap NFC card on B pillar. And I'm just like tapping it and it's not doing anything. So I'm like, oh, okay. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead, pull up against the house here and uh, I'll try to recreate the noise. Cause I'm gonna go ahead and roll these windows down. So it's parking brake. Oh, that is a nice noise. And then I don't know if you've ever heard a Tesla whenever it's in reverse, but the new Model 3s actually have this thing where it's federally mandated where you put it in reverse and it has to make a sound. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that. But yeah, and then putting it back in the other gear was, I got that little bit of a kind of noise, I don't know. So let's go ahead and go for a short drive because I haven't driven this thing in a while and my gosh, I miss it. Just right off the bat, I, I forgot how powerful this car is. Like I, I just had to pull out of side street and oh my gosh, I keep forgetting how powerful this car is. It, it, oh my goodness. Another thing, the regenerative braking and whoa, whoa, the brakes are like, wow, those are, whoa. I don't know if you guys, like, if you guys have driven any, like, supercars or anything, but, you know, carbon ceramic brakes, I mean, this doesn't have it, but whenever you, whenever they're cold, they don't really do too much. That's what this feels like for now, I mean, especially because I don't have to use the brakes too much with the whole regenerative braking system, but these brakes are cold, so I'm gonna try to actually, wow, like, my foot is really far down on the pedal, like, I'm pressing hard, and it wasn't really doing too much. So that's a little worrisome. So I'm actually going to try to, oh gosh, this car's fast. So I'm going to, there we go. Get some brake action going. There we go. Perfect. I forgot. It makes a cool sound whenever you regen brake too. Listen. It's like a spaceship. These people are right. It's like driving a freaking spaceship. Yeah. Pretty much everything is checking out to be better than the older Teslas that we've owned because... <laughs> Yeah, I told you about the Model X in deep sleep mode. Um, it actually happened on my Model 3 once too, but for this one, it's not really doing anything negative, which is good. The steering, it feels perfect. It's, it's very precise still. Um, I mean, I, as I should expect, I mean, it's not like I freaking let it sit for two years and dug it up or something crazy, but uh, yeah. So I haven't done this yet. Oh my God. <sighs> okay, yeah, that really, wow. That. That, I have to get used to that again. Wow, that actually, wow, I have a headache now. Woo, jeez, that's so fun. But my gosh, my head hurts now. Yeah, screw it. Oh, okay, that's really fast. <laughs> gosh, I forgot how fun this car is. <laughs> oh my God. Guys, seriously, you gotta buy one of these. These are so fun. It's, it's like ridiculous. You shouldn't have this much fun in an electric car, you know? People are always like, oh, like the Nissan Leaf and the Prius and stuff. It's like, no, go buy a Tesla if you want an electric car. You get so much more and there's so much more fun. Plus it drives itself too. I mean, seriously. I mean, you can't really do this in a Prius or a Nissan Leaf. So, wow. Oh my gosh. I forgot how fun it is to drive, guys. This is what I do best and this is what I love. I love driving. I love making these videos for you guys. Oh my gosh, I just feel, I, I am very, very, I don't even know how to describe it. I just feel good, finally. Oh my goodness. Oh. But uh, yeah, so yeah, after that little dramatic outburst right there, it's safe to say that this car is operating properly, which is a good thing. And uh, no major hiccups or anything other than the parking brake, but that's expected probably from any car just because, you know, other than that, I don't really have anything else to say. So I guess I'm just gonna conclude the video right there. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd make a short video about what it's like to uh, not drive a Tesla for a while and uh, I guess see what happened. Really? You couldn't be patient? Come on. It's literally a no turn on red too. That's the worst part. Honestly, that's it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions about Teslas or anything, anything at all, 
feel free to comment them down in the comment section down below. That's all for today's video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.